Yeah. This is my special travel dressing gown. <laughs> I'm down. contractually obliged to finish the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one item I always pack when I go on holiday. As a child, at my grandparents' house, I had a little bell that I would ring if I wanted anything. I was thrown out of a nightclub for refusing to stop dancing on a table. <laughs> when I was little, I used to dress myself as an 18th century nobleman. As a child, I used to play board games against a bucket with a face painted on it. <laughs> I... <laughs> I called this bucket <laughs> Stephen Tatlock. I believe disaster will occur if I don't adhere to my special alarm clock system. <laughs> For six months, I wrote horoscopes for a women's magazine. I used to be a tour guide for a hat museum. I used to proofread dictionaries for a living. This is a letter rejecting me from a job at McDonald's. I have formulated a five-point plan for surviving if I were in prison. My parents recently forced me to have a new kitchen fitted because my flat embarrassed them. Okay, this box contains the only gift I've ever been sent by a fan. Some socks. I killed a rat with my BAFTA. This is the lock of Steve Davis's hair, which I bought on eBay. When I was 12, I saved up all my pocket money and bought a rowing boat that I never used. When I was 23, I had to talk my way out of a fight with a paper boy. This is my bare tablecloth. <laughs> Customs officers once cut his head off and searched him for smuggled goods. The screensaver on my phone is a photo of my living room carpet. The only concert I have ever been to was by Shirley Bassey. Three members of the cabinet subscribe to my Twitter feed. My first word was Hoover. I recently bought a cat but took it back a day later because our personalities clashed. <laughs> Age five, I wrote to play school to suggest how the BBC should resolve their union conflict. <laughs> I have such a terrible singing voice that one year my teacher told me to mime during our school carol concert. <laughs> this is the cricket ball with which I bowled out Jeremy Clarkson <laughs> at a charity cricket match. As a teenager, I had a poster of Margaret Thatcher on my bedroom wall. I've had to prise open my bedroom door for the last two years, ever since the door handle fell off. I used to buy my gran a chocolate orange every Christmas until I found seven of them in a drawer at her house. I read 1984 from cover to cover in W.H. Smith, so I didn't have to buy a copy. As a child, I had a special way of communicating with Captain Kirk during Star Trek episodes. I fainted in the cinema during Kill Bill. My father developed the TOG rating system for duvets. On a wall in my flat, there is a mysterious red switch. I have no idea what it does because I have never pressed it and refuse to do so. I like pens and I, and I like to know where my pens are. For this reason, I have a three-point pen policy. Last year, I was forced to abandon the purchase of a new armchair mid-transaction <laughs> because the shop assistant used the terms well gel and amazeballs. Once a week, I love to eat a full English breakfast but can only do so if I'm entirely stripped to the waist. I once sent out 30 professional photographs of myself to try and get an agent. I got just one reply advising me to destroy all copies of the photo. <laughs> one of the codes I live my life by <laughs> is that my appearance should be in no way noteworthy. But then again, not so unnoteworthy as to be in itself noteworthy. <laughs> this is my cape. I used to put it on, pretend I was Doctor Who, and head into my TARDIS or, as my parents called it, the airing cupboard. <laughs> I once got stuck in a cave for an hour after getting the hood of my cagoule <laughs> caught <laughs> on a stalactite in a way I couldn't untwizzle.
As a child, I was scared of the sun. There is something about me that elephants like. <laughs> Every time I visit a zoo, they thunder towards me <laughs> and point their trunks in my direction. <laughs> this is my frog lamp. <laughs> I pop it on when I go down to the bottom of the garden to check on the frogs. <laughs> I find it incredibly irritating when other people fiddle with my jigsaws. Whenever I see my postman, Roy, he shouts, Oggy, oggy, oggy. <laughs> <laughs> and won't move on until I have replied, Roy, Roy, Roy. <laughs> I once accidentally left a goldfish on top of a petrol pump. The night before the bin men come, <laughs> I go to bed wearing earmuffs. <laughs> that way I'm spared their irritating early morning clank of trash. <laughs> These are two of the best gifts I was given last Christmas. It's a hat, a, a wand. You know. oh. I recently shooed a fox out of the garden by squirting it with water. Five minutes later, I watched in horror as it returned with its brother and ate my plimsoll. <laughs> I once hired a jet ski, but couldn't work out how to stop it, so had to buzz around the bay for 50 minutes until it ran out of petrol. <laughs> you have to find the courage to make a contactless card payment. <laughs> I considered it once, but decided that full pin entry was the safer method. <laughs> At age nine, I undertook my first ever acting role as Joseph in the school nativity, a performance described in my end-of-year report <laughs> as world-weary. Last summer, I lost a tennis match when a bee buzzed up the leg of my shorts <laughs> at a crucial moment. <clears throat> Lie by the sounds of it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm just chuckling away to myself. <laughs> I can no... <laughs> I can no longer drink orange squash. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think I've become hysterical. <laughs> I can no longer drink orange squash because it sends me berserk. <laughs> this is my driving instructor, Alan. Uh, I've had over 70 driving lessons and I still haven't passed. This is Jill, the hypnotherapist who cured me of my fear of balloons. He's my teacher and he's training me in the art of ventriloquism for my next acting role. Uh, this is Gareth, and he freed me from a roller coaster when the car got stuck. Uh, this is Lee, and for the past six months, he's been teaching me how to improve my memory. This is Richard, and he's illustrating my forthcoming children's book, The Lonely Lighthouse. Uh, this is Liz, and together we are writing a guide to the castles of Britain. <laughs> this is Gordon. Um, he works in my local pet shop, and recently sold me a hamster that <laughs> died the very next day. Uh, this is Terry, and he's the policeman who was called out when I was caught trying to break in through the window of my own flat. Uh, this is Sylvan, and he's my next-door neighbour, and I promised I'd get him on TV... <laughs> <laughs> after, ..after he complained about an all-night party in my flat. Uh, th this is Ken. Ken drives a steam engine and recently let me ride in the cab with him. This is Ian. Uh, I bought ten packs of AA batteries from Ian on eBay, and he sent me a hundred packs by mistake. <laughs> uh, this is Mike, and we once started a detective agency <laughs> together. <laughs> in the, um, really? <laughs> is that right? <laughs> in my garden shed. Uh, this is my driver, Paul, <laughs> and he refuses... <laughs> He refuses to drink pints because his hands are so small. So this is Mark. He saved me from choking in Argos after <laughs> I... <laughs> David, David, you haven't even heard of Argos. <laughs> he saved me from choking in Argos after I swallowed one of their little pens. This is Ian. I sat next to him on a plane and he had such a fear of flying that I had to hold his hand throughout takeoff. And <laughs> this is Simon. He has a large tattoo of my face on his knee. This is Sid. <laughs> Last year, she rescued me when a seaside donkey went haywire with, <laughs> with me on its back. Uh, this is Tony. 
And when I was little, he used to help me get to sleep by telling me bedtime stories about the war. This is Pauline. When I was a cub, she was the Arcala, and she had to take me out of the scout hut once for asking too many questions when we were being given a talk by the police. This is my ice cream man, Benji, and he calls me Two Flakes. Because, um... <laughs> Because it's... he always gives me two flakes <laughs> in my 99. Uh, this is Mel. He's the postman who had to retrieve my phone from a post box when I accidentally posted it instead of a letter I was carrying. <laughs> uh, this is Hannah. Last year she bought a pub and named it the Mitchell and Glove. <laughs> and I gave her my blessing to use my face on the pub sign. This is Shailene. <laughs> Uh, she is the swimming pool lifeguard who talked me into letting go of the diving board I was clinging to <laughs> after I panicked mid-boing. Uh, this is Andy. Uh, last year, he gave me a surfing lesson and he told me that he'd never seen a novice display such natural ability <laughs> amongst the waves. This is Laura. She's the first woman I ever bought flowers for I gave them to her to say sorry for being sick on her floor. Uh, this is Richard. Uh, he recently let me take control of his crusher and destroy a car. Uh, this is Rodney, and he had to retrieve my shoe when a drunk man threw it at the Skittles in a bowling alley. Uh, this is Andy. I once accidentally nudged him into a fountain whilst <laughs> trying to take a photo of a tank. This is Miller. I accidentally outbid him for a cuckoo clock when I sneezed at an auction. Uh, this is Wally, and he intervened when I got into a whispered row with a woman in a library. <laughs> uh, this is Ben, and he very recently took me to my first ever football match <laughs> and, <laughs> and was disappointed that I nodded off for a bit in the second half. <laughs> this is Carlos. He came to my house to deliver a pizza, but we ended up building a bed together. Uh, this is Claire, and she is my dentist, whose earring I swallowed mid-procedure. <laughs> this is Jenna, Thomas and Joanna, <laughs> and I nudged them into a canal <laughs> when I lost control of my Boris bike. This is my car dealer, Matt, and I once made him change the colour of our car twice because I was offended by its hue. This is Tony, and I regularly go round to his house to play with his Lego. How's your wife, Tony? <laughs> <clears throat> this is my special travel dressing gown. <laughs> I'm contractually obliged to finish the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one item I always pack when I go on holiday. As a child, at my grandparents' house, I had a little bell that I would ring if I wanted anything. I was thrown out of a nightclub for refusing to stop dancing on a table. <laughs> when I was little, I used to dress myself as an 18th century nobleman. As a child, I used to play board games against a bucket with a face painted on it. <laughs> I... <laughs> I called this bucket <laughs> Stephen Tatlock. I believe disaster will occur if I don't adhere to my special alarm clock system. <laughs> For six months, I wrote horoscopes for a women's magazine. I used to be a tour guide for a hat museum. I used to proofread dictionaries.